Here we are once again. Hopefully the audio is better this time. We'll see. And um, we're going to load up the Exoplanet Mark II. We're going to make an Exoplanet Mark III. Because we had some issues with it last time. I don't know why it's all the way up there. Oops. Okay, so this is going to be the Exoplanet Mark III. <laughs> first things first. This hood here is definitely causing the Kerbal to bump his head and that's what was causing the EVAs to go crazy. Um, I don't know if there's any real advantage to taking this over this. Uses slightly less electricity, has much better torque. Has more, three times the amount of modern propellant. But for what I'm doing, it just doesn't seem to really add much. So anyway, this goes bye-bye. We may as well just add another parachute on top. I mean, no, not a big one. Why the heck not? We also have some structural things, like the adapters, so we can mix up some of the aerodynamics here, or at least make it look better. Like so. Oh, I'm not doing three times. Tap, tap. Done. Okay, so we need to put a communication device on here somewhere. And I'm thinking in there we'll do. And we may as well just take this guy because we have so much electricity now. Like so. Now the big problem we had was we simply ran out of fuel when we were trying to do the mission last time. And that's this fuel here, the mission fuel. So let's take a look at our options. fitting into this. And we're not touching this at all, so by the time we got up into orbit we definitely had all of this fuel left. We could use a smaller engine. I don't think that's really such a good idea to be honest. Options. Let me think about it. Oh, actually we also need to put some lights on. Because the darn thing was so dark. I couldn't see what was going on. And since this is like a Mission lighting. We'll just put them right there. That looks good to me. We can at least see our gear. <laughs> uh, this final parachute doesn't really matter. I mean, these ones will go up and this one will go higher, which is good. Uh, other problems we have. Let, I'll be right back and think about this. Okay, I've thought about it. And basically, the the main thing we want to change is just double the mission fuel. That's that's all we really need to do. So we'll take that off. We'll take this off, take that engine out, and add another tank, which also means this comes down here, we need some more structural integrity at this point, like so, and we can stick the engine back on. So we double our mission fuel if we can get it up into the sky. Okay, so next we have this guy, and this guy had some trouble as well, it was all flopping about, so let's uh, connect that up so it doesn't do that anymore. And then finally we need to put this back on, which should give us everything else we need. That's, that sort of fits. Yeah, I mean it's lined up decently well. Essentially the same thing, just uh, improved, new and improved. And uh, we can take it for a test flight. We might just go up into sun orbit, take some data samples, and then come back. Try the whole life cycle before we try to go to Duna again. Okay, so what do we got here? We got boosters. And three thrusters on the outside. We also have the inner thrusters up here. We need to move them there. Okay, so first attachment is the boosters. Second attachment is the main rockets. And then the orbital rockets. And that should do the trick. Then we are on to mission, final detachment, and parachute landing. Well, let's see what happens. This is 
always an interesting part to see if it all just falls falls to pieces. Uh, slight bounce and jiggle. We, we seem to be pretty good. Okay, so resources. Turn on our SAS. Increase the thrust of our liquid engines, and here we go. <laughs> So this is the usual sort of maneuver for getting into orbit before we go on our mission. So you can see we twisted a little bit down here. We need to adjust ourselves back down onto the line there, the 90 degree line. And give ourselves a little bit of a turn. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. Like so. And how far away from the apoapsis? One minute. So, let's uh, speed up a little bit there. Okay.
touch. Here we go. Our solar panels blew off. Well, we get to test out our parachutes. Hmm. Well, that was a shame. But that's what happens when you try new rockets. So once we get through the the atmosphere here, the ionosphere, stratosphere, uh, then we'll turn on our gears and give us a little bit more aero break. Not really much. So we are going quite fast, but it looks like we're going to land in the ocean. So we don't even really need them. Okay, but we finally get to find out what our parachute system is going to be like. And I'll probably do it at about 5,000 meters, 5 kilometers up in the sky. Just want this thing to be facing more vertical before we do it. All right, and I know soon enough if this is capable of making a return for a couple. Of oh, look at that speed! There's nothing. I'm risking, you know, life and limb here by doing three times speed with parachutes open. It always seems to be a problem. They might have fixed it in this version of the game. We don't really need the landing gears, obviously. But at least they will hit the water first and maybe preserve these things. But it's a good test, right? So, uh, here we go. Does this thing land? <laughs> Right, we are back, and the basic problem was that we didn't have enough fuel to get us into orbit. I think we could probably fix that just by making this guy bigger, 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 bigger. much bigger. So, oh, it's not exactly what I wanted to do, but all three sides. Move this guy up here, and we'll attach him back on. out there, take the engine off, get another one of these big, big, big things, engine's back on, I'm going to move the boosters down to be roughly on level, like so, and we are still doing feeds, but I want to redo that, so from the bottom, That's a lot more fuel. We'll see if it makes a difference or if we just don't even lift off the ground. Okay, so engines, we've got these three in here again. All the rest there. We've got the boosters, the main, the, then the center, then the mission. Okay, let's see what happens. This thing looks a little bit heavy. Slightly concerned. Slightly concerned. Bit of vertical bounce. It's fine. Appears that nothing broke. Let's put our thrust up. SAS on. And cross fingers.
good uh, orbit. Okay, this time I think we've probably got it. We shall see. Alright, we are coming up to our apoapsis. Just nudging ourselves back to the horizon. That looks good, I guess. No, stop. Stop tilting. So we have our inline reaction wheel. It's operational, yeah. Come on, guy. How are we at? We are okay, we're here. Hopefully this will be enough fuel to get us into the fuel will be enough from this point to get us all the way there. As long as we don't. Can we get past that hump? <laughs> I'll let you know in a second. It's looking plausible. can do it. Aha! Bro. Trying to tilt up to make this grow faster. We don't want to reach it before we get out of the atmosphere. I mean, uh, yeah, we want this to get back up to 70,000 before we reach it. So I'm just sort of thrusting directly up now. This is my adjustment down here. I don't think we're going to make it. What we can do if we don't make it is on the other side we can do a rotate, a um, we can, we can vector away from the planet or into the planet to, um, to improve it. Looks like the best we're going to get for now. Okay, so on this side, uh, actually on the far side, probably about here. What we want to do is we want to turn. Right, and that will get us an orbit. Except that that is a one-minute burn. That's not acceptable. I said get rid of this. Um, yeah, we can just accelerate a little bit more. Yeah, that's that's only ten seconds, and we and we're there. Right, so let's just speed up till we get there. Assuming we get out of the atmosphere properly. We're definitely going up. That's a good thing. And we're going to need to point at a horizon or something like that as well. There it is. Ooh. And there we are. We're back in, in orbit. It's a bit of a, a jumpy ship at the moment.
why. Oh, because we're at um, four times speed, which we can now do even faster. Let's just burn. Right now. So, let's, there you go. It's uh, done. We don't even need this maneuver. Get rid of it. We now have an orbit that is stable, went to grade, and we have all of our mission fuel. So, we can turn the lights on, can't we? Does that help at all? Barely, not really much. <laughs> as we get rid of that then. Okay, so we need to set a target. Considering how much fuel we have, we could attempt Duna again. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to cut here and we'll see what happens. Here we go, we are approaching our burn to get out of Kerbin's influence. on the far side, so we slingshot and blast off. But once again we seem to have used a lot of fuel. It's uh, just moving. Let's see if there's anything out here science wise. be interesting if there is. I've never thought to check out here before. Okay, so we're now outside the orbit of mid-mass. Let's see if there's any science to be had. Crew port? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's sort of what I expected. But there should be some when we get out into orbit. Whoa, what the heck? Um, apparently we're not escaping Kerbin yet. Um, so we just want to sort of thrust a bit. There we go, that's an escape. We have to do that. Um, go back to normal speed so that we can actually adjust things. Place directly up from Kevin. Or close to it at least. Doesn't have to be exact. Apparently we're just a couple of seconds off getting this right. There we go. Do we what? What is all this? Do we escape Kevin or not? Speed up and find out. Okay, we are uh, we have escaped Kevin, <laughs> but apparently we're going to. What is this? Are we or are we not under the influence of the sun? Yes. Okay, that was weird. So let's see what we can get out here. Crew report? Nothing. We did that before. Uh, let's test out the EVA now that we've changed the hood. Ha! Huh, would you look at that? That's it. Okay, there's nothing to be had there as well. However, there should be a lot of science to be had. I think. Oh yeah, let's keep that. Let's go grab all of them. This will get us our nuclear engine for sure. Uh, lights on. Doesn't really help much at all. Let's go do all of them because our intent was not. Our original intent was not to go to Duna again. Um, 
and I think we could possibly make it, but I want the science because I want nuclear engines. So I'm just going to get all the diminishing returns I can get out of this, and then we'll have to go back to Kevin. So I'll be back in a moment. Turns out this could be a bit of an ill-fated journey. We have fallen behind Kevin, and we need to catch up. Uh, all right, we're going to catch Kerbin now. Let's just speed up. See if we can actually get home with all the science. It's quite a bit of it. Okay, here we are. There's Kevin. So we need to somehow be able to click on this thing. Ready? Right, I think if we just turn and slow down, oh, that will slingshot us. Let's just uh, try slowing down at the periapsis. Oh, okay, that does not take much at all. Alright, so a very minuscule burn will get us back into a good orbit. From there we can slow ourselves down. This is a tiny six second burn at the periapsis to get us a nice almost circle, circular orbit. Alright, so in two days we do that. Uh, oh, well, it's going to be close enough. We need to shut it by two hours. So. Let's just keep thrusting until that'll do. Okay. So, are we now under the influence of Kevin? We are. Right. So at the periapsis, we want to slow down more. Ooh, ooh. I don't really need to go to the moon. So that's almost a... Well, it's a... It's a free money counter, and then it dips us into a fairly low orbit. Whereas if we do it ourselves, we end up in an elliptical orbit. But going past the moon gives us this pretty good orbit right there. Let's do that. very tense when you get to the countdown. Here we go. So if we can achieve this crazy pass by the moon. I have to watch the, the cyan very carefully to make sure you're getting what you expect. Close enough. I think we probably overshot it a little bit. But it does give us a... Well, a cheaper orbit there. And a random fly past the moon. 
<laughs> Maybe we, oh no, we did all our science, didn't we? Okay, so here's the new orbit. Once we get the periapsis, we slow down. What's that? Another encounter with the moon? Yep, that's one we want to avoid. Okay, that'll get us back to Kerbin. Uh, we can slow down more when we get closer to that. It's only a minute burn, we've got plenty of fuel for that. Close enough. <laughs> the uh, speed thing was still on, so. <laughs> There's that moon shot that we did really well. There's another one. And now we are simply slowing down. I'm doing the speed we got when we when we pushed out. We were tempting to go to Duna, and then I realized we could just get easy science and high orbit around the sun. But it means that we still don't really have enough oomph to get up into orbit, or even to escape Kerbin. So we really need a lot more fuel. Probably the answer is boosters. Boosters are always a good option. We're watching this periapsis drop, which will get us back to Kerbin, into the atmosphere, and it will slow itself down. And that will do it. That will definitely get us into the atmosphere. There's no way, well, we could be going fast enough, but we'll see. Okay, we're almost there. Our altitude is not in the atmosphere yet. It will stop us automatically when we hit the atmosphere like so and we should well we're going very very fast so what we want to do is slow down until we are going to land somewhere or s possibly choose our landing oh it doesn't matter too much I can't see where we're going to land anyway uh, so that's a, a minute burn It doesn't matter that we're about to pass it. All we want to do is slow ourselves down. Use some RCS to get this on target. It's so not really using the RCS for anything else. The apple apsis, when it gets low enough, then it will be slow enough to, to land anyway. Periapsis is gone, so we are going to come down. So we can shut it off now. And see, we're catching up to our own apple apsis. There we go. So, uh, looks like we don't have. Well, there goes. <laughs> so we don't have to retract the solar panels because, whoops, there they go. Now we also want to get rid of the fuel here, we don't need that anymore. Angle ourselves a little bit better so we deflect most of the heat away from everything else as we fall. Turn our lights on. No, the lights were on the other bit. Does that mean we can see it? No. <laughs> that would be cool. All right, let's start our aero brake with the gears because that that matters. <laughs> Not. <Right. laughs> Shame we're coming down when it's so dark. Just 
Let's make that pop up sooner. It's always the slightly nerve-wracking part because I think we are actually going to be landing on our struts this time. And once again, I will deploy at about 5,000. So we can slow down. Put on the SAS a moment just to let it sort of stabilize. And uh, okay, ocean it is. Did not expect that. Thought we were going to land on some land or something. So I'll cut here and we'll we'll be back in a moment once we've hopefully safely landed. 4.8 meters per second. Perfect. <laughs> Hit the land. So, we gathered, wow, 525 science from that mission, so that was well worth it. Uh, so diminishing returns, materials, 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 bang, 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 materials, 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 that's the next three, and the last three did nothing. So given that we know that now, we know that six is enough, Mis last mysterious goo, 5.9 so we could have six of each and we would be good enough for a pass by of something so if we're doing high and low orbit of something like Duna we would, what we would need is 12 essentially 12 hmm. so we need a bigger craft <laughs> and more fuel uh, that'll do two missions but with all of the science we just got we need to spend it First things first, nuclear propulsion. This will give us all of the power we need, I think, to get to most places. Bam. I, know, I think we need to get this as well to get up to there, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we still have 271 science left, so we could spend it. That's only 90. Precision engineering, this is for making landers and things. That's the super battery, which would be cool to have. And the giant solar array, which would also be cool to have. Uh, we can't afford it, we don't have 300 science. <laughs> the accelerometer would be cool. Um, barometer, if we start landing on uh, you know, the moon and stuff like that. Uh, are these wheels? I don't know. But we have uh, aerodynamics. And we have this stuff, which is good for attaching things, I suppose. Ah, here's the wheel. Small gear bay. Hmm. I think. Smaller landing strut. I suspect the smart thing to do is just to grab this, get the Delta Deluxe Winglet, and uh, inline advanced stabilizer. Oh well, wait, where's the SAS? ASAS. The bicoupler, another adapter, docking port stuff. Hmm. Do I already have the ASS? I do. I should really use that. Okay. Well, let's just start filling out the science tree. Like so, and like so. And all the way over here as well. There we go. Advanced landing. What's this do? Better strut. A micro parachute of sorts. Deploys high up and suddenly not enough to stop you smashing into the ground. So, okay, so that's used for, useful for slowing down in the atmosphere. Cool. Well, we're back to no science, but it was a good mission, and hopefully with nuclear engines we'll be able to get to Duna and back with the fuel that we took, we can, we can currently get up there. 